Welcome everybody, I'm Corey Graves. I'm happy to introduce you to the biggest and best channel on YouTube for WWE Champions, Gersans Gaming. Booyaka, booyaka, champions. It is Rey Mysterio, Mr. 619. He is an acrobat, and we're going to have a look or a preview of him. He is the character from the vault. He also has uh, gear on the vault, although we're not going to see footage from the gear right now. I might actually get footage from the gear for a later video, but for now, let's stick with what we got. Uh, also, as usual, this is not my account. You got the little D on the top right telling you that it's a developer account. And you got my mention on the bottom left that says it's not my account. It's Copley developer footage. I always mention it because there's always someone's going to ask. Not my account. Now about Rey Mysterio. Again, he's an acrobat. We're going to see two different specs. Here's the first one. We're going to have two videos of this one. Four star bronze as usual. All right. So he's going to be using the West Coast Pup. It's a 10 MP blue move finisher. Deals 19.2k damage plus almost 1700 bonus damage for every multiply gem and pin the opponent. The Urkan Arana at 1 MP green move. Deals 2k damage and choose a 2x2 two two area to make into multiplied gems of strain 4. The Mysterio Express 5MP blue move deals 6.2k damage and make the bottom 3 rows into multiplied gems of strain 2. Other moves we'll see at a later stage. Using Lawler to start with 4 blue MP. And Demon Balor that we don't see often as a trainer, which makes move that generate multiply gems will create one more multiply gems and multiply gems do 38% more damage. That is new for Balor and that is when he is at 9k. You can also, I mean, you could have used Matt Hardy as well uh, to uh, have those uh, multiplier be times two more but in this case the whole point of using him is so that the finisher does more damage with all those multipliers on the board i'm actually trying to get a list for you guys of all those guys that newly got a second ability as a trainer uh, at 9k like ABA Taker is one of them, for instance, and there's actually quite a few of them that gained a new ability as a trainer, so trying to get a list of that. So it's again Seth Rollins, the Undisputed Future. Two moves ready on the first turn, using the Mysterio Express first to make the bottom three rows in multipliers of Multiply 2. I'm going to use the Hurricane Arana to make a 2x2 two two area of strain 4. I could have placed it a little more on the left and get two of those blues. But this way it actually... Made the, the whole point why he didn't do that is that just by getting one blue with a multiplier on it... That was enough to get all his blue moves ready and it keeps the rest of the uh, multipliers on the board and obviously in this case what you want is more multipliers on the board so you didn't really need to get that extra blue you just wanted more multipliers on the board now, can obviously put four more with this And now the finisher is going to have a lot of multipliers there, each doing 2.3k damage. That's an 84,000 pin, although he's probably going to kick out of it. He did. Probably going to need to do that one more time. Going to be able to put it there, although I don't see a blue match anywhere. Oh, 
blue match. <laughs> blue and green is going to be ready on the next turn. I'm going to use that blue to again make the bottom three rows into multipliers. Now I'll make a two by two area of multiplier four. And the finisher should do quite a bit. Probably again around 40k or something like that. Uh, 80k. I mean. Yeah. And it's over. Alright, so that is it for this video. Let's go look at a second video of this spec. Alright, here's the second opponent who's actually going to be set again for Mysterio. Going to be using the same move set. So it is blue, green, blue. Same trainers, Lawler and Demon Valor. Again, first move is going to put the bottom three rows into multipliers. Now, second move is going to create those two by two area of strain four. And he only needs to connect one of them. So he doesn't need to select so that there's more blues on it. He just needs one. Because he wants as much of them to remain on the board. That's what he went for again, just selecting one. So that three, well, actually in this case two, because one got caught in a cascade, are sticking on the board. There you go. Now, he's going to create again the bottom three row. Only going to add one, but I mean, that's 2k more damage. Four by four area. That's going to add 10k damage on that finisher. And the finisher, which should do around 90k or something. Eighty-one k actually. And he could not kick out of it this time. This one was actually much faster than the previous one using the same opponent, the same spec and everything. All right, so now let's have a look at a completely different spec. Rey Mysterio Jr., simply known as the human highlight film. The biggest little man in the history of WWE. Rey Mysterio, a high flyer. One of the great aerial technicians of all time. All right, so let's look at a different spec for Rey. All right, this time it's going to be black, green, black. So it, it is a 619, a 6 MP black move, this deal 6.7k damage, and choose two blue gems to destroy. The Tilt-A-Whirl, Ed Scissors, a 2 MP green move that deals 2.7k damage, and choose two blue gems to modify into row break gems. And the Springboard Crossbody deals, uh, that's a 4 black MP move, Deals 5.1k damage and choose one row to make into Multiply Gem of Strength 2. Alright, as far as trainers now, using Bray to start with 4 more MP point 
and mat so that multipliers increase by two. There's actually quite a few different things you could, ju just as far as trainers, I mean, you could have had the trainer to destroy more gems. I mean, there's many options I see there. There's actually many options for move sets overall with Ray. I'm not even sure those two are actually the best ones. I'm already cooking some different ones in my head right now, so. I'd have to do another video on that later on. Let's stick to the footage we got for now. Alright, so the first the first black move is ready. That's a 5k damage. And choose run roll to make into a multiplied gem of true. Now based on what the, those moves are doing, you're better off choosing a row that has a blue in it. The whole point is going to be to convert one of those blue into a row destroy gem and then destroy the whole row of multipliers. Now that kind of screwed it up a little. Uh, yeah, he's probably going to select a different row with a blue still. There you go. Now the second move is to choose two blue gems to modify into row break so normally the best move would be to take one in each of those two rows there you go and then choose two blue gems to destroy that's going to take care of both of those rows with a bunch of multipliers on them that's also going to restart recharge his moves 88k right there and those moves are ready to go on the next turn pick a row with blue pick one of those blue gems and a random one anywhere else and destroy the row I think I like this spec better than the first one we saw. On paper, the other one looks like, with all those multipliers on the board, it looks pretty nasty, but I think this one's gonna work. But I, I would need to try that one more. But this one I kinda like more. So that's it for Ray Mysterio. As I said, I will probably get footage for uh, gameplay with his gear set. And his gear set is actually that the uh, damage from uh, multiplier gems is increased by I don't know what amount but that should do a significant a significant difference in his uh, damage for sure so thanks for watching folks if you're not already subs make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff if you have any comments about my content make sure to leave it in the comments and if you like the video leave a like and share see you guys G up ciao Lord Gerson, I am WWE superstar Lacey Evans, and I am the most classy, confident, and sophisticated lady you have ever laid your eyes on. Now, it has also been brought to my attention that you run a YouTube channel for Gerson's Gaming, and I think that that is awesome, and I just might have to go check it out myself. So remember, Gerson, keep it classy, and try your best not to be a nasty.